How's it going guys? So Carl's Place just released a brand new series of enclosures called the C-Series. If you've been following my channel, you'll know I've been running a Carl's Place DIY enclosure in my setup for the last two years and I have nothing but great things to say about it. It's held up exceptionally well and after two years of use, it still looks really, really good. Basically anybody who orders an enclosure from Carl's Place will receive this new system, but anybody who already has a previous enclosure, they actually give you the ability to retrofit it to the new system. So maybe it's time to get a new screen or you went with one of their lower grade screens and you're ready to do a screen upgrade. Rest assured you can now upgrade to their new C-Series system. Basically what this new system does is it uses a cable on the bottom of the screen, allowing for the screen to run flush all the way down to the turf or down to the bottom of the floor. And it eliminates that black border that you see on the enclosure behind me on their previous design. In addition to this new system, they've also added a blackout cover. It is optional, but basically what it does is it adds this new cover that kind of covers the backside of the screen with this blackout material. So it doesn't allow any ambient light to get in, which will improve your image quality. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to convert my previous Carl's enclosure and retrofit it with the brand new C-Series system and kind of tell you what my thoughts are. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. It tells us that you like the content and it's greatly appreciated. Everything you see in my setup behind me will be included in the descriptions down below, as well as a link for basically how to go about purchasing this new retrofit C-Series system. So let's get started. I'm gonna take my enclosure apart and we're gonna get it converted over to the brand new C-Series. So here is everything that comes in the kit if you are just doing the retrofit C-Series screen. So obviously you'll get the new C-Series screen that has the cable pre-attached. And just like in the past, you have three options for screen material. I opted for the premium screen material, which is their highest quality one, as that's what I've been using for the last two years. And as stated, it's held up exceptionally well. You're going to get a bag of these heavy duty zip ties that are adjustable. These are gonna be what replaces the old bungees that were used in the previous design. You're gonna get two new corner pieces. These are going to replace the existing lower rear corner pieces of your build. And basically you'll see they have the new eyelet inside of there and that's where these two included uh, tensioning bolts are gonna come in where you'll feed those through and then you will attach them to the cable system on the bottom portion of the screen and this is where you would add the tension. And then this extra piece that sticks out the back here. Now this is for the optional rear blackout covers. And then finally you'll get the instruction booklet for the retrofit and you'll have two sets of instructions. One for how to install just the retrofit screen and one if you're also installing the optional blackout cover. If you opted for the additional enclosure back cover kit, these are gonna be what you get with that system. So basically you're gonna get a new canopy that replaces your existing canopy and that's just gonna add that extra mounting point for that back cover kit. You'll get the back cover kit that attaches to the rear. Then again, this is what's gonna keep all that ambient light from getting in uh, behind the screen. You're going to get three of these uh, connector pieces and this is for your EMT pipe. I opted to use my own EMT pipe, which is something Carl's offers you to do. Um, you can buy the pipe kit directly from them, but I opted to just source my own EMT locally uh, to save a few dollars. And then you're gonna get two of these corner pieces and basically what these are gonna do is replace your existing top uh, corner pieces and then those existing top corner pieces are gonna be moved to the rear for the blackout cover. Okay, so basically I'm gonna start by removing my turf. As you can see, it's just free floating on top of all the gym tiles and just getting my insert out and my rough strip that covers my wires. And then the puzzle mat just comes apart. So as you can see, the whole thing's pretty easy to take out. I just got my turf taken out and I got my enclosure pulled away from that nook in my wall. And I decided while I was doing that and then looking over the instructions for the retrofit install that I'm just gonna make this video about only installing the C-Series um, screen. So that blackout cover piece that I also ordered, I'm gonna put that into the next video because I think that's a pretty interesting element. Even though they're released at the same time, again, you don't have to get the blackout kit. So I wanna keep that in a separate video and then we can really test that out and have a little bit more time without making this video get too long. So let's start by step one, which is removing the screen. Removing the screen is pretty straightforward. As you can see, I opted for the additional foam insert. So I'm just getting those out of the way. But if you don't have those, just unvelcro the flaps, remove the little weighted sandbag that goes across the bottom and then just go around removing all the bungees and probably best to make sure your screen doesn't land on the ground. Now that you have the screen removed, you can start by undoing the Velcro on both sides of the canopy and then removing the one retaining bungee. This will just allow it so you have more room to 
uh, pull the bars out. You wanna break all three of the bolts free and then just slide out the EMT pipes. And then you can install the new C-Series lower corner pieces. Just make sure they're fully inserted all the way down and then you wanna tighten them snug just so they won't move. And then once you get that all done, you can reattach that bungee and Velcro everything back into place and move to the other side and repeat. Now that both corner pieces are installed, you can go ahead and relocate that lower bar to its new mounting location. Again, making sure it's all the way inserted and then just tighten down both sides. Now that both corners are installed, get your new C-Series screen and find the Carl's Place logo. That is the top left corner of the screen. You're gonna wanna take two of your bungees from your old system and pre-feed those in through the rear of that eyelet. This will make it easier to hang in the next step. And you just wanna start by hanging the top left corner, attaching one bungee over the top and one on the side. And then obviously repeat that same process for the right side. Now you'll want to locate the eyelet on the new corner pieces, feed in the pre-attached screen cable, and then grab your tensioning bolt. And you're gonna to wanna to put that on and give it about four full turns on each side. And then once you get those in, you can start adding tension with the Allen wrench. And you just wanna make sure you're adding even tension to the left and right side going back and forth. And then you can take two of these supplied zip ties and you're gonna to want to put them in this orientation and tighten them down as tight as possible, making sure that space is even on both sides. You should have those lower zip ties tight enough so the gap that is set is pretty close to about the same gap that's set at the top by the two supplied bungees from the step prior. Now you can start attaching all the zip ties on the left and right side, making sure to maintain a nice even gap all the way across. You can grab a household item just to make sure you have an even gap on the left and right. And for the top, you want just enough tension keeping it even across so that screen sits nice and flat across the ground and everything should just be nice and evenly spaced across the back and that tensioning cable should be nice and tight so no balls can get under. Now that that's done, you can get your enclosure into the space where it's gonna be and reinstall the foam if you opted for those. If not, just go ahead and Velcro those flaps, making sure to take your time going all the way around the perimeter so everything looks nice and neat. It just makes for a much better look and then you are basically done with the retrofit. So the whole retrofit was pretty straightforward. I just followed along with the instructions. Um, Carl's does have a video where they also do an install of the new C-Series, so I'll put a link to that in the description below if you wanna check that out. But overall, pretty simple, just took some time with the filming. All right, I just got the new C-Series retrofit kit installed, and I gotta say, I'm actually extremely happy with it. It looks absolutely amazing. It's the same quality as it was before, but the main thing that I like about this new design is how that screen just goes all the way to the turf, and it just looks awesome, like rolling into the image. There are a few adjustments that I had to make. Um, one was just adjusting the projector down. With this new design, they actually have the screen sitting lower which makes more sense because if you're running an enclosure setup, basically what happened to me when I installed mine was when you set your projector up, uh, the projected image kind of catches that top portion of that enclosure, which makes it so you have to lower your projector down lower and then angle it slightly upwards. And when you make any kind of adjustments like that to a projector, you have to adjust the keystone and you actually have to move the projector further back than it's spec for that size screen. Changing those angles, it does uh, impact the image quality and basically that throw ratio. So now I like it because my projector is sitting nice and flush. I have no keystone offset to set and I notice I can actually move it in closer, which I'll probably do later on, because remember, the further back your projector is from where it's spec to sit for that screen, the more it impacts the image, and as I said before, image quality is extremely important to me. Luckily, I have the Optima GT1090 HDR projector, so I was able to get it to fit the image just so I can kind of show you how it looks. I am looking forward to the next video where I install that blackout back cover piece. Just adding that blackout cover is gonna be a nice touch and just add for an even better image. So overall, do I think you need to do this if you already have a Carl's Place enclosure? No, I don't think you need to do it. Am I happy I did it? I'm absolutely happy that I did it. This thing has brought me so much over the last two years. It really gets you, you know, off the couch and doing something more active. It's improved my golf game greatly and I'm just really happy that I like the new design. But again, if you have the old design, I was happy with that as well. This new design with those zip ties, you can adjust the tension on your screen how you want. Whereas before you had those bungees and it kind of was, you can remove some and it kind of distorted the screen. Every line on this 
screen where the image gets projected is perfect. It's nice and straight and it looks awesome. So I'm very happy I did it. Another thing I noticed with this new design is now eliminating that lower border piece. It kind of like went forward about five to six inches. So now my entire turf slides back even further. So it freed up a little bit more room real estate. And now I'm a bit, well, about six inches closer to the screen. And actually like from that hitting position, just hitting a few practice shots. I did have to make some modifications to my turf because now that the turf sits further in, I had to just make some cutouts and some angled cuts towards the end. But I actually like how it looks. As far as the rebound goes, I went pretty tight with the zip ties. So, I, cause I want that screen to be nice and flat. And just hitting a few practice shots, there wasn't really any noticeable difference. I did leave my memory foam topper up back there uh, just so it was kind of apples to apples. But I did notice, again, I'm six inches closer now. It was about pretty much equal. But again, you have the ability to loosen up those zip ties to make it a little less you know, of rebound. But I've never had that issue before. Another thing with the new design that I really like how that screen goes all the way to the floor is that before with that lower black border, it kind of has like a ramping um, shape to it. So hitting thin shots, sometimes it would skim across and ramp up that border and kind of come flying back. Not anything too serious. I've never had any like aggressive rebounds for my enclosure, but um, I think with this new design just being a nice flat wall, it should pretty much prevent that from happening. Overall, the whole retrofit install went really, really fast. I mean, if I wasn't filming in between shots, I could have got it done a lot faster. But if you were retrofitting your kit to this new design, I would imagine it would take you probably no more than an hour total. So if you already have a Carl's Place DIY enclosure and you're thinking, should you get the retrofit kit? I would say you have you know, a great enclosure already. It's really up to you in that sense. What I would tell you to do is maybe wait and once your screen kind of gets worn over the years or however long, I mean, some people probably wear theirs more than others, it would be a great time to upgrade to the new C-Series. And I think moving forward, that's what they're gonna have anyway. Anybody who's just buying an enclosure, I have no problem recommending this C-Series just like I recommended the previous design. I think they're both great. But again, for me, I really like the C-Series design for my setup and just the overall um, additions that they made to it, I really like. So that's pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned and please like and subscribe. If you're subscribed, you'll see the next video where I install the back cover enclosure. And I'll probably be doing some tests where I put some backlighting behind it because everybody has different setups. Mine's sitting in a nook, so it's pretty dark back there anyway. Uh, but again, like everybody has different setups, so I'll probably do some tests so you can kind of see what the benefits are of that. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. The whole reason I started this channel is because I wanted one of these things in my house two years ago and then starting the whole process of trying to figure out what to do and thinking I should get one of these, you know, box sim kit setups. Um, I'm glad I found Carl's place because it made it so I can design it exactly how I want. And then I could just build the whole thing piece by piece. So I really hope this content helps you guys in your journey. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. And also you can check out our website, pixelgolfco.com, where we have our contact information if you have any additional questions. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one.